In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you eight YouTube settings that you want to make sure that you have updated to ensure the growth of your YouTube channel and success. All of these you can do on your mobile device or here on desktop. Go to customize channel or click your avatar on the top right hand side and go to YouTube studio. Here on the bottom left hand side, you can see settings, this little gear icon. Click that. Move on over to channel. Make sure that you have the proper keywords in place to identify your channel so that the YouTube algorithm knows exactly what it is that you do on your channel. Next, move on over to advanced settings scroll on down i do recommend that you have your subscriber count displayed but moving on down here to clips i have it selected allow viewers to clip my content if you deselect this option viewers will not be able to clip your content and existing clips of your content will be disabled i am going to uncheck this i do not want people to clip my content if they want to share the entire video i would recommend that i really don't want people watching just three or four seconds of my youtube videos i would like them to watch the entirety of it. Now there may be some controversy around that, but I'm going to go ahead and click save. And this is what works for my channel. Moving on over to the third one down to upload defaults. Make sure you have updated links in there that everything is working and that it is fresh and viewer friendly. I also like to make sure that when I upload my visibility is private. You certainly could do unlisted, but I prefer private. Once you've made those changes, go ahead and click save. Moving on down to the community tab. It's the one, two, three, four, five, one down, scroll on down, scroll scroll on down and you can see we are in automated filters. You want to make sure that you are blocking links so that people are not trying to redirect your traffic from your video to a third party. It says, if you select this option, new comments with hashtags and URLs will be held for review. This setting doesn't apply to moderators or approved users. You don't want people leaving your YouTube channel and you don't want all that spam on your comment section. Moving on over to defaults here on the top, make sure that you hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. And YouTube is also doing an experiment right now where you can increase the strictness. If you hover over the question mark right here, YouTube will expand and give you more information. Once you've selected what you want, go ahead and click save. Moving on over to customization here, it looks like a little highlighter. We are now in the layout tab, but you can see right here, short section has been added right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this section because I do not do YouTube shorts. However, if you want to move it down, or prioritize what videos you want your audience to be drawn to next, you can just go ahead, grab one of these little thingies here, these thingies, these two lines on the left-hand side and move it down. You can add a section if you wanted to do that using this blue plus sign. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this section. And then again, make sure that you click publish when you're done making your changes and then you can go back and view your channel. Also make sure that you update your YouTube watermark. You can see right here, I have a thumbs up. There is some suspicion that the thumbs up button is more important than other metrics on YouTube. You can see right here, thumbs up, thumbs up. If someone were to click on this, it prompts them to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you would like one of these free watermarks, check the description box below of this video and I will have that emailed to you for free. And in order to change that watermark, you can see here it's under customization. And if you go to branding here at the top, here is where you will change your video watermark, the bottom one down here. You can have it for the end of the video, custom start time, or your entire video. And last, but not least, this is probably the most important one right here. You can see I'm in the about section, the last one here, your description. Make sure this is up to date to share with your audience what it is that you do or offer them. I wouldn't say something like, check out my really cool life and look at how awesome and amazing I am and see what I do on a daily basis because people, when they first are getting to know you, are not interested in that sort of thing. Also, this shows at the top, I'm going to insert a screenshot right here on your mobile phone. So if someone is visiting your channel for the first time, they want to know what they're going to get from your YouTube channel. Give them a reason to keep coming back. Now, if you're looking to get started on YouTube, I have created an entire playlist for you titled How to Get Started on YouTube. I'm going to link it in the description box below and on screen now, but it has everything that you need to become a full-time YouTuber, start making some money and enjoy being a content creator. Oh, and did I mention the freedom and flexibility that YouTube allows you? And I will see you, my friend in the next one.